This week is part three of my series on how to hear God's voice. In the previous videos, we discussed how God wants to have a close, intimate, loving relationship with us so we can easily be in conversation with Him. The problem is that there are so many factors that interfere with our ability to hear God's voice. The greatest block to hearing God's voice is when you don't think it's possible to hear Him. So when He speaks to you, you just presume it's your own thoughts and you miss His voice. Another block to hearing God's voice is when you're involved in sin. Sin gives Satan legal rights to harass you by filling your mind with his thoughts, so it's harder to hear God. Anything that affects your thinking, feelings, and emotions will affect your ability to hear God's voice. If you're struggling with depression, anxiety, or bipolar disorder mood swings, and you can't shut your mind off, it'll be much harder to hear God's quiet voice speaking into your mind. And if you have a lot of emotional baggage from a painful past, it will fill your mind with lies like, God would never speak to me, I'm such a loser, he's unhappy with me. And Satan loves to fill your mind with his thoughts to keep you upset and distracted from God's voice. Another very significant factor that determines how easily you can hear God is your relationship with Him and how you think God feels about you. If you have a close, warm, loving relationship with God, it'll be much easier to hear His voice than if you feel God is angry with you because of your many failures. If your relationship with God is just head knowledge rather than heart experience, then you won't expect to have a personal communication with Him and he will seem silent. So what can you do about this? Well, you need to discover how much God loves you and wants to have a close daddy relationship with you. And to do this, you need to get rid of your emotional baggage that's holding you back. God wants you to hear his voice, so he will help you get rid of these obstacles if you let him. And I have a lot more information on how to hear God's voice in that five-part video series, and there's links to that below, and there's lots of information on my website on how to get rid of emotional baggage, how to understand and, get, and treat mood disorders, so these obstructions can be dealt with with God's help. So to live a transformed life, you need to get rid of all the hindrances to hearing God's voice. Now I want to hear from you. How did you clear your mind and get rid of those obstacles so that you could hear God's voice? Tell us your story because we want to benefit from your experience. And just leave your comments on the box below. And if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my free weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form and you know where it is. It's always right there. And I'll talk to you again next week, but this week, listen for God's voice.